lovelies my name is Jessica and welcome to make a misfit and before I get into the video I wanted to address the elephant in the room which is my purple hair so a couple of days ago I colored my hair purple I am so torn on whether or not I like it um, I also got it cut and got some bangs which I really do like I like the length it is a little curled um, but I like the length and this is kind of where I normally get my hair cut it was just grown out and really really long and I decided to try some bangs I am torn on the color I like it I do but at the same time I'm not all there for it so it is something that's gonna wash out it's not a permanent dye so we'll see how it turns um, as it fades it is supposed to also tone the blonde that I have underneath it so when this fades out my blonde will be even blonder than it was before which would be nice because it'll get rid of that yellow brassiness that I had so it's supposed to be 30 washes we'll see how long that takes it's definitely not going to be only a month um, and I'll, I'll have this for a few months that's for sure unless I decide I really don't like it and I just decide to wash my hair every single day um, but yeah I'm really torn on how I feel about it a part of me likes it at some times and another part of me isn't quite sure if I like it or not. I was expecting a little bit lighter, uh, more of like a light lavender, and it's a little bit brighter than I thought. I have had purple hair before. I've had multiple colored hair before. Like I've always done stuff like this, but it's been so long. And I think going from blonde to purple and also from light to a little bit dark is kind of really throwing me off. So that might just be it. It's probably just gonna take a few more days to get used to. Um, but I like it more today than I did yesterday and then I did on Friday, which is when I got it done. So it's progress. It's a little something, but I did want to address the purple hair, um, before I got into the video. So there is that. Now I'm ready. This is the finale for Pan Your Name 2.0 or round two, if you wanted to call it, um, I'm really excited. This project has been going for pretty much a year now. So I did start round one back in November of last year. That went until April of this year. And then round two started from May until today. I do have round three coming and I'm really excited about that one. So November 7th will be round three. Now in round two, I did have a couple of ladies decide to join me and I had a couple more mention that they might want to join me in round three. So please do, please feel free. Let me know if you would like to and I will throw you down in the description box. So Charisse from Brown Eyed Charisse and Jen from Jen Beauty are linked down below so you can go check out their videos and we shall see who will be added in round three, but that is a month from now. So stay tuned. So I had three products uh, sitting at the last update left in my name. Now, I'm going to go through them with you guys and let me just tell you whether I've hit a goal or not, I'm close-ish, but I'm calling them good and done. So, and it's not only because of the finale. So, the letter S, I had the Mario Badescu spray. I'm still sitting where I was sitting at last month and the month before and probably close to the month before that. I'm just not making progress on this. Now, considering that this has been in here since the beginning, I have made a little bit of progress, which is much more than I've been making pretty much since I've had it. So I am happy with that amount of usage, but I'm also just never reaching for it. And I kind of just don't want to anymore. So I think I might just toss this, just get rid of it because it's really just sitting, taking up space for no reason at all. And I think I'm just ready to let it go, get it out of my collection. I've had it for a little while and I'm ready to part ways. So this will be leaving my collection. Now for the letter I, I had the Bath and Body Works In Your Stars spray. Now this one was taken quite a long time. If you can just... If you just saw the spray swishing around there, you'd see that there really isn't much use on this either. Um, I had champagne toast in here for the first round and by this point, I was not quite at my goal, but I was much further down the bottle than I am with this one. I don't know what it is. I use this before bed, not every single night again, but I do try to and I've been reaching for it a little bit more often than I was over the last couple of months. There was a little lull where I just really wasn't reaching for this. 
Now, I kind of changed my goal a bit at the last update saying I think I wanted to hit like this star or something like that. Um, if you can see it, you might be able to from here. I am like just above where this is, kind of more or less halfway through this star. I'm fine with that. It's not exactly goal met. My original goal was to reach down to the bottom of this pink label here, but I was not making it that far. I've barely made a dent in this, but I have made something. So I am going to continue to reach for this every so often. I might start to use this as like a room spray, continue to try and use it at night. Um, I do like it, but for some reason I just haven't been gravitating towards this at all. So I'm not quite where I want it to be, but I'm still happy with the progress because at least I've made some use on this over the last few months and that's better than nothing for me. So last but not least, I had a thousand wishes body lotion from Bath and Body Works. My goal was to finish this one and I really wasn't sure if I was going to because I had the sleep lotion from the aromatherapy line but Bath and Body Works in here as well. I wanted to use up that one before I started using a thousand wishes and I was just ready to see where I was going to be at the end. If I finished it, wonderful. If not, it wasn't a huge concern to me but I have finished this. I could probably get a little bit more out of here, but it has been so difficult to try and squeeze anything out. So I'm calling it done. It is like, you can see just torn up on the bottle there. So I'm not going to fight with this to try and get any more product out. It is older. I am ready to let this go. I have a few more in my collection that I want to work through now and knock those ones out as well. So Technically, one out of three isn't bad. It is what it is. It's not a huge deal to me if I don't hit every goal in this project. For me, it's just to work through the products that I wouldn't put into other panning projects, but that I still want to get use on. And a lot of these products I probably wouldn't reach for or even think about using unless they were in a project. So for me, a little progress is much more than none and it's much better than what would have been um the progress on these project the progress on these products if it were not in this project that's a bit of a tongue twister so i'm happy regardless with how things have been over the last few months for this round um if you haven't seen i do have a playlist down below so it has round one round two and it will have round three once that gets started so go check it out you can see the progress that i've made on my collection um with these odds and ends products that I that I have and that I'm ready to let go of. So like I said, November 7th, no, not the 7th, November 10th, that is going to be my round three for Pan Your Name. If you would like to join, please let me know. A little brief rundown. Um, basically, you take each letter of your first name, you find a product that corresponds with that letter, and you hit your goal, whatever goal that may be for yourself. And then once you hit your goal on that, you knock that letter out of your name. So you're just trying to like shrink your name um, as much as you can within the few months. So it's going to go from November 10th until April 10th of next year. And I'm really excited, so please feel free to join me. Let me know if you would like to. I will throw you down with the ladies who are also doing this project. Go check them out as well. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you have fun if you do this. And that is everything for now. Thank you so much. I will see you guys all later. Bye.